chat about the benefits of outsourcing. And there's a lot of furor between um, employing Australian and outsourcing. Now, outsourcing can be either onshore or offshore. You often heard the term virtual assistants and it talks about admin people who are not in your office. Now, these people can be sitting in downtown Brisbane or downtown Bangladesh, it doesn't matter. So I don't wanna get into the, the mechanics of onshore versus offshore, but I do wanna talk about the benefits of outsourcing. And it really comes down to you using your skills for your business in the things that are going to be the best outcome for the business. So it depends who you are and what you are. So for instance, if I was a builder, my skills might be best placed quoting jobs, or they might be best placed actually running the building site. They might be best, best suited to, to framing a building. Everyone has different skills. And if you don't have the skills that you needed, it's important that you grab someone who can assist you. And if those skills are not on the tools as such, then there's an ability to outsource them to people around the corner or around the world. Um, these people are generally contractors. Uh, they come in for a specific period of time to do a specific job. If they're Australian, we still need to watch the employee um, contractor rules. If they're offshore, we don't need to worry about it. Here at HBA Encompass, we do have outsourced staff. Um, I've spoken about it before. We've got two bookkeepers through Bookkeeper Hub. We've got two accountants for HBA. We've got a, um, an admin lady for HBA and a marketing lady that looks after us all. Because guess what? I can't do everything. I need people to help me in my business. And if I can't find team members on the ground here, then I'm going to grab them from wherever they are, basically. And look, these teams are a part of our, our culture. They're part of our team. Um, they're at 10 to 10 meetings every day. They're included. They're not just someone sitting in an office on the other side of the world. They're part of our staff and we treat them accordingly. We had a day off on Friday afternoon for end of financial year. Well, guess what? Our team went and did something in the Philippines. It's important to look at, at what is best for you and your situation. Recently, we've had massive staffing shortages in Australia. But in saying that, there's, there's outsourced people in Australia who can do the job. It doesn't have to go offshore. Um, Google VA Australia and have a look. There are hundreds of them, thousands of them even. Um, and having someone to come in and do those tasks to take them off your shoulders or you're doing the best thing that you can be doing is a win-win for your business. Mm -hmm.